Welcome to my channel, La Vie Vintage Rose. This is about an eBay scammer on a return case. I have never seen this before, and I've been on eBay since 2001. eBay refunded the buyer, had to pay me back, reimbursed me for the return shipping, and the scammer was able to keep the item. This is a first that I've ever seen this type of scam on eBay. So let's get started. A buyer purchased a toy for $7.99 with $5 shipping from me. After she made the purchase, she sent a message saying the following. This arrived in a different condition than the pictures and description. If you could work with me to find a solution, that would be great. Once I heard those key phrases, I knew right away she was an entitled buyer that expects her extortion demands be met. The scammer buyer, the buyer's username is k.lsab underscore I would block her and not allow this type of scammer continue to fool decent eBay sellers when she's already getting a great price. Her feedback shows that she leaves sellers feedback such as great to work with, which really translates into the scammer can get you to give her some money back. That's what it means. I replied that what she is talking about is seen in a number of photos, and I let her know which photos to look at. She didn't reply and decides to leave negative feedback, saying that usually a seller will help a buyer out even when the buyer is wrong, and that I was the rudest seller she's ever met on eBay. So I called eBay, explained that the buyer was trying to extort me and leave negative feedback for me. eBay looked over the messages that we exchanged and agreed that I was not rude and removed the negative feedback that she had left. The buyer still not satisfied, proceeded to open a case, open a not as described case, even though we've already discussed it on the eBay message platform. So she was aware that what she was doing could easily be uncovered. I called eBay again, and even though they understood the situation, that the buyer was an extortionist, and I told them what had occurred. The representative replied back to me, well, we've decided to allow the return. So let's just see what happens, that eBay would send them the label. Maybe the buyer won't return anything. I was like, I'm not paying for the return shipping label. I didn't have a label tracking number for the return, since I never generated one, nor did I buy a label for the return. Subsequently, I got a notice from my post office that I had two packages to pick up. I didn't know what the second package was. I knew the first one was for a purchase that I made. So I was not even aware that the buyer went ahead and returned the item back to me. I had no idea because I didn't have the return tracking number since eBay issued the label. When I went to the post office to pick up two items, the lady says to me, well, it says two, but we only got one for you. That was how I found out that the scammer buyer had the item delivered to the post office, but the scammer somehow tampered with the label. 
and the item was on its way back to her in Boston. So eBay still turns around, and someone went back in there and charged me for the shipping, $9.75, that they told me would not be coming from me. They snuck it in there. eBay sneaked it in there. No one told me. They didn't say anything about it. I just saw that my payout was reduced, and I asked about it. On top of that, eBay also refunded the scammer the $12.99 for the item. Even though tracking shows the item was rejected by my post office, and it was its way back to her in Boston. I've never seen this type of scam where the liar buyer tampers with the return address label. As you know, the return label uses the addresses in the eBay system. I wasn't even the person that generated the label, so the buyer got to keep the item, which is what she wanted to do in the first place. She never wanted to return it. The item was in great shape, and it was also the best price. She had claimed in her case that she bought my item even though there were less expensive ones on eBay, which is a complete lie. I looked up the items, sorted it by price, and I sent her a couple of listings. I sent it to her in a message, and I told her that she was lying, that mine was the best price, and I wasn't ever about to give her any kind of discount. So eBay keeps these entitled scammers on the platform, and this scammer is relatively new. Started on eBay August of 2021. I left her a negative comment, even though eBay doesn't allow for negative feedback from sellers. I explained in my statement what she had done, even though eBay counts it as a positive. In response, the scammer buyer, the buyer's username is k.lsab underscore five decides to hide all of her feedback. It was quite annoying to experience the extent that this pampered liar went to. I knew she wanted to keep the item. She didn't want to return it. I knew that from jump. I called eBay again to let them know that the post office sent the item back because the recipient, me, was unknown which I'm pretty sure was the buyer's agenda so she could keep the item and get all her money back. She was quite indignant that I refused to allow her to extort me. This extremely cheap scammer costs eBay $12.99, which they gave back to me after I filed an appeal. Then they gave back the $9.75 return shipping when I called them out on it. Then they also had to pay the $9.75 for the boomerang delivery attempts where the recipient information on the label was tampered with. And they paid $12.99 back to the scammer because it had showed on the system that the item was delivered to me. Even though two hours later the post office rejected it and sent it back on out to her. So the buyer kept the item, got all of her money back, and eBay is out $12.99 times two and $9.75 for an item that originally cost $12.99. In my opinion, you have to fight back against these scammers. These entitled liars think that they can leave bad feedback and open fraudulent return cases. And eBay allows them to do that. Even though I made them aware of what the scammer buyer was doing, and they were all well aware of what she was doing. The eBay representative can tell them, no, this is a fraudulent return. We can see what happened here, and this return will not be allowed. 
they did that in the past quite regularly. They just sort of changed in the last, say, five, seven years. I told the scammer to return it, that I priced it too low anyway. It should not be my responsibility. Tampering with the return case, return merchandise label. What do you think? Is it worth it to fight these scammers? Let me know in the comments. I hope this was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe.